Children with complex health conditions like cancer, cystic fibrosis or other things need lots of intravenous devices in their life, including central lines. We insert these devices to give them nutrition and antibiotics. On a daily basis as a clinician, I spend um, my day asking patients and their parents, where was your last IV? What sites have been used before? Have you had any problems? Why was the last one removed? And so there's a lot of pressure on the parents and even the children when they're getting older to be able to provide that information to the clinicians. And sometimes they're really beating themselves up that they can't remember. We developed the IV passport to partner between the clinicians that insert and manage devices in hospital and the parents when they're caring for their child at home with these sometimes complex devices to ensure that they have all the information that they need about that child's IV, whether they're at home, in the hospital or in an emergency. The IV passport application is the first of its kind. We are looking to provide a solution to a very specific problem that affects people's lives in a very big way. And the way we built this app was in collaboration so that we can get everyone's inputs on what would bring value to this app. Cruz was in hospital from two and a half weeks old. So all up, spent maybe two years all up in hospital. The first lot of his central lines were used, um, his stomach didn't work at all. So basically head down wasn't working. Um, so we couldn't put anything into his tummy. So he was fed solely through his veins really. Back then yeah we had nothing on our phones just folders and folders of paperwork and it was hard to keep on top of everything. When we were having to go into hospital you're usually in there at a time of you know urgency so that sort of thing I couldn't remember off the top of my head. And for them to be able to sh just basically hand you their um, app and you can see their previous vascular access history is just going to take the pressure off them in having to try and remember that. It's now being used at the Queensland Children's Hospital in a variety of settings in addition to adults with cancer or relying on home parental nutrition. They're using it to document their IVs that they have now in the past or in the future and to plan with their clinicians for what might lay ahead. If IVs were to have problems at home, if they became blocked. We also include reliable and accurate resources on how to troubleshoot those devices when they're feeling most stressed. It's all about a collaborative relationship between um, parents, patients and clinicians and making sure we're all on the same page and managing the devices to the best standard. We know that this is a resource that will allow the parents to feel in control of a very stressful and sometimes uncontrollable situation.